In today's video, should you use the sauna? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today's video is going to be a little bit short. I'm just going to discuss the topic of using the sauna um, and what its purpose is and perhaps should you be using it while you're dieting. First things first, I want to mention I'm going to put a link below in the description box. If you have been dying to come see me speak for any reason, well, now's your chance. The day after the Olympia in Las Vegas on Sunday, Lane Norton invited me to do a seminar, that's right, and he's giving me a full hour to just discuss the topic of contest prep, reverse dieting, peaking strategies, nutrition strategies, training. I'm going to be able to talk a lot, answer all your questions, so hey, if you want to get an early bird special, book it now. Click the link below, go get the early bird special for the four of us. It's going to be me, Holly Baxter, Andres Vargas, and Lane. So you're going to get a wealth of information. If you want to know more about the other people that are coming, click the link and check it out. But hopefully I see you, some of you guys in Vegas, um, not only for the Olympia, but for the seminar. It'd be awesome. So let's talk a little bit about why I am interested in the sauna. And so the question came from my client. That's right. My client, Robbie, who's getting ready for a men's physique show. And he said, Hey coach, would it be beneficial to remove the water underneath the skin if I got in the sauna after I trained or after my cardio every day? And I want to talk about why that may or may not be the case. So first things first, I'm probably going to put a picture on the screen here of the skin. What is underneath? What is going on between the skin on the top of our outside of our bodies, the muscle underneath it and all the things in between? For those that are not familiar with how body fat works, well, there is a layer of body fat that resides between the skin and on top of the muscle. Our goal for dieting down for a show is to get rid of that body fat. When you get rid of that body fat, there's nowhere for the water to go. So let's talk about why we would look better after the sauna. So when you go work out and you get a good workout on and you sweat a little bit and you notice you look a little bit better, a little more vascular, your skin looks a little thinner as they say. Well, the job of perspiration is to cool you off. So when we sweat, and I'm probably telling a lot of people that know this already, but I just want to explain it for those that may be not familiar. When you sweat, the, the moisture on your skin is meant to allow the body to be cooled. So you'll notice if you sweat and then it's windy, it feels cold. Well, that's your body trying to bring your body temperature down. So what's going on at that time is that the body is using the, the water underneath the skin to cool. So it pulls that water out onto the skin, cools the skin. So when we sit in a sauna, what we essentially do is we rid the body of this layer of water. Now, that sounds very exciting. Sitting in a sauna, getting rid of the water underneath our skin, okay? That interstitial layer of, of fat. Now there's still some fat in there for most people, right? So what happens? Well, you lose the water from those fat cells. So you look leaner. The problem is that fluid balance is corrected rather quickly. So we're going to see a shift from the fluids that was under the skin to out to now other parts of the body are going to work to replace that fluid balance. You cannot change the body's fluid balance for more than a short period of time, okay? So if we're talking about getting on a bodybuilding stage, if you're getting in a sauna and sweating it out every day for months before a show, you're having zero impact on your show day appearance. Show day is the only day that really matters for, for doing that. Now, is there a benefit to getting in the sauna and sweating? Perhaps, you know, some people believe it helps with toxins. Some people believe it helps them relax. I have no problem with sitting in a sauna. It's just that I want everyone to understand our goal for looking like we do when we get out of the sauna is to get so lean that there is no place for the water to reside in the interstitial layer. That means the fat cells have to be gone, okay? When the fat cells are gone, they cannot hold water. When they cannot hold water, they cannot create that film between the muscle and the skin. And this is how we get that razor sharp conditioning, guys. And that is simply a product of caloric restriction, dieting down, giving yourself enough time. If you watched yesterday's video, you know my analogy about the pool, 
okay? Think of the body as a pool of water and when you want to lose body fat, you're just scraping the body fat off the top of the pool. To get really shredded, you got to get the water out all the way from the bottom of the pool. The bottom of the pool is where the stubborn body fat resides, things like glutes and hamstrings and hips. Um, you know, that's why we have to diet for so long. We can't spot reduce, you know. The, the idea is that we're just going to diet down until all the fat cells are off the body so that we look shredded from head to toe. All right, guys, so that's the real reason that I wanted to make this video. I wanted to explain to my client, hey, I don't mind if you want to sit in a sauna every day, but it's not going to benefit us as far as the product that we see on stage. Now, it might benefit you if you get in the sauna, you, you lose a couple pounds of water weight, you get out and you look in the mirror and you go, damn, I look great. That might be an indicator of how you're going to look in a few, in a few months when, you, when you're done dieting. Just understand that if you do that process, what's going to happen is that the cell volume in your muscles is going to decrease because the fluids are going to leave the muscle and it's going to go back under the skin because it's going to keep that balance the same. So if you dehydrate yourself, you're essentially going to flatten muscle and keep the water balance the same underneath the skin. And if you have a smaller muscle pushing out against the skin less, so if, this, if the muscle is this big and it's pushing out against the skin, as that muscle shrinks because there's less cell volume, the skin is going to sag and that's where you can be like, man, I can't get a pump today. I don't look as lean. I look like I have more body fat. That's why, because a bigger muscle gives you the illusion of being leaner. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Click the link below. I'll see you in Vegas. And if I don't see you in Vegas, well, I'll just do a video and we can talk tomorrow.